So, what is Twitter? Founded in 2006, Twitter is a social network that allows users to send messages called tweets. These messages can be read by that person's followers and the wider world. Twitter is completely open with anyone able to read someone's tweets unless they've been set to private. Because of this openness, Twitter is a public and accessible space where anyone can sign up for an account, connect with others and share their experiences and thoughts online. But how does Twitter actually work? To post tweets and interact with other people, you need to have an account. When setting up your account, you have to choose a name or handle. This starts with an at symbol. And this is how people can communicate with you directly. Once you've got set up, you can start tweeting. Tweets are limited to 140 characters, and if you go over this limit, you won't be able to post your message. You can make your tweets stand out by using pictures and GIFs, which are animated images like this one. Let's take a quick look at the anatomy of a tweet. So, here's a tweet from my account. I've used a picture to make it stand out, and you can see that the tweet has come from my account as it has my name, profile picture, and my at handle at the top, as well as information about when I tweeted at the bottom. Also, it has a handy follow button, so anyone can follow me quickly and easily. This button also appears on individual profile pages, so you can follow that way too. Along the bottom are some symbols which allow you to interact with the tweet, and also some indications showing if people have already interacted. First up is the curvy arrow symbol. By clicking on this, you can reply directly to the tweet in question, and your comment will appear directly below the tweet. Any conversations posted like this can turn into a chain, so people can follow a conversation as it grows. Next is the double arrow symbol. This is the retweet button. By clicking this, you can effectively tweet an exact copy of the original tweet to your followers. People often do this because they like the tweet and want other people to see it. Twitter also gives you the option to do a quote quote retweet, where you add your own commentary to the top of the tweet before posting it. This can be useful if you want to clarify why you wanted to share it more widely. Finally, we have the heart symbol. This allows you to like a tweet, a bit like the thumbs up symbol on Facebook. This heart symbol is a relatively new addition in the history of Twitter, as it used to be a star and allow people to favorite a tweet. Either way, any time you use this symbol, the tweet in question gets added to a special list, which is why many people use this to save tweets later, so they can come back to it. Or you can just use it to say, I like this, it's up to you. Right, back to tweeting. If someone tweets a message with your at name in it, you'll get a notification that someone has mentioned you, and you can then check out what they've said and respond. This type of conversation is visible to anyone, even more so if someone follows both you and the person you are talking to. Twitter has a handy direct messaging system for those conversations you want to have in private. You will have a feed as part of your account, which will show your tweets from people that you follow. You can make this feed work for you by following people that are interesting or useful for you to follow because they work in an area that you want to move into as part of your career, or they're doing some cool research that you want to keep up with. Because Twitter is about interaction, you might also want to encourage people to follow you so they can see what sort of stuff you're posting about. Aside from using links, images and GIFs, which will increase the chance of someone interacting with your tweet exponentially, you can also use hashtags. Hashtags are a popular part of the Twitter language. Any hashtag starts with the hashtag symbol and can be any combination of letters or numbers, but they must be a continuous string, like this one. As soon as you've written your hashtag term, it will become a blue link. If anyone now clicks on that link, it will create a feed with all the tweets from around Twitter using that same hashtag. But why is this important? Well, first of all, the hashtag often denotes or emphasizes the subject of your tweet. If someone is looking for what people are saying about that subject, then using a hashtag increases your chances of being spotted among those 500 million plus tweets that are being sent every day. Hashtags are also used at events such as conferences or talks, as they allow for all of the tweets from that event to be helpfully pulled together into one convenient place for anyone to read or catch up on. Do check for existing use of your hashtag so your tweets don't get mixed up with another conversational topic, and also try reading your hashtag out to yourself to make sure you don't accidentally tweet something a little bit rude, like Penn Island did. 
as with anything online, the freedom to communicate on Twitter can be taken advantage of. So anyone can post anything they like, even if that content is abusive or targets certain people. However, Twitter is working to deal with this unsavoury part of internet culture and gives you lots of options to block, mute and report anyone who might be causing trouble. Twitter is, by its nature, very informal, so do try to use it that way. Have fun, use pictures and use hashtags or other people's at handles to create conversations or get involved with existing ones. Twitter is always changing and evolving, so by the time you've watched this video, there may be even more new and shiny functions waiting to be explored. There's a lot more to using Twitter than we could cover in this quick intro video, but check out our other video on using Twitter for research and get out there and experiment with the platform. Until next time, bye.